<laughs> hey, Lily. Look what we got. Look, Lily. Look, Lily. Look. It's Thrifty Gaming Pickups! Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, me, Mr. Mario, behind the camera here. This is my dog, Lily. And uh, this is Thrifty Gaming Pickups, a episodic series here on my second channel. Yes, second channel. If you're interested in, you know, I would say better non pickup y and more produced stuff, then uh, check out my main channel down below in the description. It's Mr. Mario 2011. Aside from that, this is a series I like to do where I pretty much show, you know, stuff I get between different hauls and everything. Um, and different deals that I get. I like going to garage sales, yard sh sales, thrift shops, and, you know, discount stores and gaming stores as well, too. And I normally, you know, go to a few shops and show you all what I get. Sometimes it could be over a day. Sometimes it could be over the course of a few weeks. Just depends on when I make a video. And I have Lily in every single episode. So with that, with the power of editing, I'm going to have to get her back in frame and change out my battery. And then we will unbox this box of stuff. All right, so it looks like Lily's just going to kind of chill in the corner here. But anyways, Lily, if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. But I'm going to show you all what I got at uh, thrift stores here. So I end up going to a couple thrift stores for these pickups here. And the rest of them I actually end up getting from, a, well, I'll reveal the shop. Later. Well, it's half price books there. I'm probably going to put in the title anyways. But anyways, getting into this here, uh, let's go ahead and see what we ended up grabbing. So for these, uh, I did not get these on sale. But this is Brink on ps3 i played it on 360 tiny bit thought it was eh, okay didn't really get too far into it but seemed to be in pretty pristine condition for two bucks i said why the hell not it's complete as well so decided to pick it up devil may cry two dollars on ps3 uh also decided to get this because well one i actually enjoy the game and two it has this exclusive art book of course it's disgusting that that's not a sticker that's actually on the cover art the walmart right there but it does have a nice, uh, it's complete as well, and it has, you know, that nice art book in there. So, I figured, you know what, I like the game, $2, why the hell not, let's go ahead and pick that up. Right here, end up getting, never had one of these, I've never had one of these style, like a square iPod Nano, but it looks like this comes with, of course, the old pin connector, it comes with the USB cable, it comes with some earbuds, it's complete, and it comes with the iPod itself, this thing was 3 bucks. So I looked at it, and I even said, like, because, you know, it was it was like this in the case, and I asked to see it, and we flipped it around. I was like, is that $3? Because it could have been $2.99 or $29.98 or something like that. But even, like, the people there, they looked at it, and they were kind of in disbelief, and they're like, oh, yeah, that is $3. So, yep, that's the price on it. <laughs> but either way, I figured, you know what, $3 is cheap enough. I'm going to have to pick it up anyways, so... I did. I didn't have to, but still decided to. $3, why the hell not? $3, guys. Come on. And then finally, end up getting a pair, nothing, not too big of a deal, but I got a pair of these, um, or a set of these component cables for the Xbox 360. You all might be looking at the price and seeing, what the hell, you spent $5 on this or $4.99? No, actually, uh, these were on sale, so I spent $0.50 cents on these. I think I have a few of these laying around as well, too, but... I have wanted to try and rip one of these apart and make uh, component cables for the original Xbox, which is recommended and actually a pretty uh, affordable and doable way of doing that. So I have some pretty solid cables. In a previous episode, I actually picked up some monster cables for like eight bucks. I'm not even kidding with that. Like eight dollars, I picked up original Xbox monster cables. Um, but I figured, you know what, for this, it'll be a fun experiment. And if I mess it up, whatever. Uh, I mess up some cheap Xbox cables and a 50 cent component cable for the 360. These things are stupid easy to find anyway. So got all those. Next up, end up grabbing a few other things here. So let me go ahead and kind of wheel this all over. So out of these, I end up getting uh, this Energizer rechargeable battery kit. Uh, I actually have one of these. I love AA and AAA rechargeable batteries. Just absolutely love them. Uh, this is normally four bucks, which I think is well worth it. I know, not really gaming, but whatever. <laughs> uh, this is four dollars, but uh, with the sale, it was two bucks. So I said two bucks. Why the hell not? Uh, now, these other three things here were 20% off. So, I said in an episode a while ago that I want to see if I can pick up all of the seasons of The Office physically exclusively from thrift shops. So this was $2.48, so let's round up to $2.50. 
take 20% off that, so I paid two bucks for this. And then, normally if I can grab controllers for a somewhat decent price, I try to. This one, yeah, it kind of needs some love, as you can see right there. Um, but I have, you know, plenty of new thumbsticks, so that's okay. And then end up getting this transparent set as well, too. So, got a couple PS2 controllers. They were $4 each after the discount. I'm, I'm normally okay paying that, to be honest. So, that's the thrift store stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and get the bookstore stuff in here. And this is what was exciting. And you all are going to see why I got so much stuff here. All right, so we're going to have the sleepy Lily, and I don't know what it is, but Lily, whenever we have an episode with you and you get in this corner, you get real sleepy. You get real sleepy. Anyways, we're going to have her kind of initiate the box of everything here. So this stuff was in the box. All the rest of the stuff here, of course, is still in the box. I'm going to be taking it out, and I hope it gets better as I go along. But, but, have to tell you all, just going to tell you up front, Everything he from here on out, everything from Half Price Books was 20% off. So this was during a Memorial Day sale. And we just by chance went into a uh, Half Price Books. And what ended up happening was I saw a few things I liked. And Half Price Books is actually all right for used games and such. But I started picking things up just because I looked. I was like, oh, this is a good price. This is a good price. I didn't find out until I went to the register that everything was 20% off. So this is the first haul I got. But as you can see, first of all, I got Shinobi on the Sega Master System. I uh, have not played it yet, but for $4 and 20% off of that, I figured, why the hell not? Let's go ahead and grab it. Right here, got some PS1 games, which I absolutely love. But I got Final Fantasy VIII on the PS1. Seems to be in okay condition. Disc seemed to be fine. Everything here was in pretty solid shape, actually. But more importantly, this was, of course, $10. Brings that down to $8. Lily Dog is asleep. All right, Lily, you don't, this doesn't entertain you. Are you not entertained, dog? Okay, that's really cute. That might be thumbnail material. <laughs> Anyways, uh, no, this thing, of course, is $8 after the discount. But even so, this stack, again, I'm telling you, this stack I purchased because I thought the sticker prices were good. I didn't know they would be discounted until I got to the register. But $10 for this. And uh, it's also the Black Label variant as well, too. So I don't own that. Decide to pick it up. Covert Ops Nuclear Dawn. I have actually never played this game, and I always saw it, and it always looked cool, and I always wanted to try it out, and I just never did. But I figured, you know what, $8? Probably well worth it. Again, take 20% off of that, and this seemed to be in solid shape too. Prince of Persia Limited Edition on the Xbox 360. This is complete. It has the slipcover, it has the bonus disc, it has the game itself, it has everything else in it. I actually owned this, so I traded in a bunch of games to the game shop I used to work at before I started working there, uh, and I ended up getting this game, played through it, loved it, bought the DLC, played through that, also enjoyed it, and then sold it. Uh, but mine actually did not have the slipcover. It was the limited edition, but it didn't have the slipcover, so it's nice to have this back in the collection, $8, I think that's well worth it. $8, you know, minus 20% off. Let's see, limited edition includes the Making of Prince of Persia, a digital art book, digital mini strategy guide, or mini strategy guide, and original soundtrack. Awesome. This one might surprise some people, but I actually did not have this edition of San Andreas. I do have San Andreas on the Xbox, but there's two problems with it. One of them is uh, it is the second edition, so it has the hot coffee stuff removed, and the second one is it is a previous rental. So it's a previous Hollywood rental, so it's not the original case, it's not the original cover art, uh, it's not in the best shape, it has a sticker on it, you know, it's not the best. But for $8, I said, man, I, I gotta pick this up. So $8 for a pretty solid copy of San Andreas. They also had the Platinum Hits edition, but I said, no, I want to get the earlier edition if possible. And they didn't seem to price them differently either. Uh, hot coffee, in case you don't know, I'll get to educate you a little bit. So it was a sex mini game, a full-on sex mini game they had in this. And of course, they couldn't put it, but they couldn't put it in the retail version. So they just commented out the code. They disabled it. But then when the game came out on PC, people found this. And at first, I think Rockstar tried to say, oh, this is because modders added it to the game. And then modders came out and said, 
No, we didn't add anything to the game. We actually unlocked stuff in the game. This mini game is in there. So essentially that became the hot coffee mod. And then people found out that with game save modding, you could access the same mini game on the Xbox and PS2 versions. And so that meant the original version got recalled. If it didn't get recalled, it got relabeled to AO. And any subsequent releases afterwards had the code removed instead of commented. So that's what happened. Hot coffee. Moto GP on the original Xbox. I don't own this, but $2 on clearance, complete, 20% off. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It was funny because when I got this, uh, like it was behind the case like it was gold. <laughs> and uh, when I picked this up, uh, the lady, like she commented, I was like, yeah, can I get Knights of the Old Republic? And she's like, oh, yes. Like she just got really excited that I was picking this up. So in pristine condition and complete, it's platinum hits, but eh, you know, it's okay. Um, they also had the regular version too, but it wasn't complete. And it was the same price, which $8, which this is another good price for this especially since knights of the old republic um it went up in price with the backwards compatibility program so it's always been you know it's been an affordable game i'll say that it's not a cheap game but it's an affordable game but it did spike up in price when it got into the xbox one backwards compatibility not xbox 360 i'm talking about an xbox game on the xbox one uh it did spike up in price so i think it's probably gone down but either way eight dollars is an excellent price for this in my opinion also, I do own this game, but I bought it with a pack. Uh, after that all happened, I actually ended up buying Star Wars Knights Old Republic 1 and 2, but it was uh, Star Wars Knights Old Republic 2 complete and disc only of Star Wars Knights Old Republic 1. So now I have a complete version of it, which is great. And finally, I never picked this game up. I never picked it up, and I'm so happy I finally did now. But Killer is Dead got a complete limited edition of it, $10.00 take 20% off, so $8 for this. It is ripped on this side, but aside from that, everything else is in pretty solid shape. And then let's see what all it has here, if I can focus in at all. Let's see, 80-page hardcover art book, a soundtrack CD, and bonus DLC. I wouldn't be surprised if the DLC has been redeemed, but either way, quite happy with that as well. What do you think, Lily? There, these, these are all your games. I don't know how this dog got so tired, seriously. Dang. All right. So now what ended up happening was I bought all those games. So this is the first stack I got. I took it up to the register and it was a 20% off everything sale, you all. So I was like, wait, is this all 20% off? And the guy said, yes. And I was like, wait, that's everything, right? And he said, yes. I was like, oh, damn. Oh, whoa. Awesome. Oh, and then, you know, we bought our stuff. We left. We, as in like, I was with my girlfriend and I saw a few things there, and I thought of them, and my girlfriend was awesome for this, but the next day I was like, hey, can we can we go back to, to, to the bookstore? And she was like, yeah, okay, sure. So we went back. The 20% off sale, sale was still going on, and these, they're not stellar deals, mind you, but I think they're fair prices. Uh, they were already fair prices, and now they're like going into good deals, but they're not like killer, like $5 things, whatever it is. But either way... Let me move some of this stuff out of here. <laughs> what ended up happening was they have video games. They also have video game consoles. So I went back the second time and I was in and out very quickly because I knew exactly what I wanted and none of their inventory changed. But I got a original Sega Genesis. This is the, is this? No, 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 no. It's a Model 1, but it's not the original because it doesn't say high definition on it. But it's the original, it's, it, okay, it is a Model 1 Sega Genesis. So this was 30 bucks. take 20% off, that's $24. I actually do need to do a Genesis-related video here soon, so that's even the other thing I thought of. I was like, oh, this will pretty much have everything I need with it, so this works out. I do have a Nomad and a Genesis 1 and 2, but that was even another thing. It's just like, you know, those aren't, they're kind of in okay shape. This one's going to be... This one already looks better to me. Uh, and then on top of it as well, too, um, I'll have all the cables here. So I don't have really have to fish for them, except for the, um, the SCART cable, which did, it did not come with, of course, since we're in the U.S., but I got one anyways. So end up getting a Model 1 Genesis. And also, the way they do their things, 
is they take all the cables and everything and put it in a separate bag. So it was kind of funny because uh, at first the guy who was getting them and he was cool, everyone was cool about it, but he got the systems and he tried to, you know, not get the cables. And I was like, wait a minute, they, they need the cables. He's like, oh, can, can you get them? So I got the cables for these systems and he just kind of laughed and said, you know, this, this shows is definitely not my area of expertise. And then when I checked out, they tried to double charge me because they tried to scan both of them. And I was like, wait, 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 no, no, no. This is the console. This is the cables. They're one package. And then they corrected that as well too. But yeah, it looks like it comes with the RF cable, the power cable and a three button controller. So got one of those. All right, I had to move everything around. All right, I had to move everything around a tiny bit, but this dog is still so sleepy, unbelievable. Anyway, she's now the master of the Genesis, and I ended up getting another thing as well, too. Ended up getting a second Sega console called the Dreamcast as well. So this is $50, which is respectable. That's, you know, if you find a Dreamcast for $50 in a game shop, I would say that's a good deal because that's the expected price of a Dreamcast in 2018. One complete, you know, a Dreamcast with a controller and cables and such. So it seems to be in okay condition. Uh, should play CDR games as well too, backup games, whatever you want to call it. It'll play CDRs because this was manufactured in August of 1999, so it is not one of the last revisions which removed CDR playback. Uh, so it does do that, thankfully. And I also end up getting the cables and everything with it as well too. So right here, got these, and it does come with a VMU, which is great. So it came with a VMU and the figure eight cable and just regular composite cables. So $40 for that, I thought that was a acceptable price as well. And now I also have another uh, Dreamcast on hand. I normally try and have, like with, with my older systems and such, I normally try and have two on hand. It sounds kind of silly, but, you know, kind of just a backup thing. Also, one to completely mess around with, one of them, you know, just for whatever. Uh, and I actually, I had two Dreamcast sold one about a year ago to a friend of mine for 50 bucks. Um, so it's nice I was able to get one back and, you know, take, I didn't have to pay more for it, which was nice. So, and I think I pretty much gave him the same deal on it too. I gave him uh, cables, console, controller, and a memory card or VMU, I guess you can put it. Uh, so yeah, Right on. I'm happy with that. Always happy to add, you know, more Sega hardware to the collection. So again, got another Dreamcast there. Happy with that. And then end up going to another Half Price Books because we still had time that day. So I went to another one and I picked up one more console. One that's very, very near and dear to me. And right here, this is it. This is a PS1 otherwise known as a PlayStation Slim. Uh, this was $15, and the only issue with it is it does not have a AV cable. And it was funny because I looked at the prices of them, and the prices were, it was like $35 for a PlayStation, or $25 for a PlayStation, or $15 for a PS1 with no AV. So I decided to get this because I actually really like these models. And then on top of that, I'm just like, well, if it's going to come with everything else, like... You know, so first off, that's $12, but even so, normally, the power thing alone, if I was going to buy that, like on eBay, that's about 10 or 15 bucks, depending on who I get it from, so solid deal on that. So I plan to rip that apart at one point. It looks pretty solid so far. Um, everything's in great condition with it, too. Does not come with a memory card, unfortunately, no memory card on there, but you know what, whatever, $12, I'm quite happy with that, plan to chip it as well, too, and we'll have some fun with it. So... That is the last of the consoles. I got a PS1, a Dreamcast, and a Sega Genesis Model 1. And there's my dog. Anyways, let's get into the last bags here. So this is from the last place that I ended up going to, which was that same uh, uh, Half Price Books. So got all that there. Well, got that at this one. And now we're going to get into the games and such that I picked up. So, end up grabbing a PlayStation 1 controller. I almost have a feeling that that PlayStation was traded in or sold with two controllers and they just paired one with the system because they needed to do that and they put the other one out on the sales floor. Anyways, this was, let's see, $4.99 minus 20%. So this was four bucks for this. So paying the same price for these controllers. This one's in much better shape though. And let's see here, end up getting another 
PlayStation 1 controller. This one is a clear original PlayStation controller. Same price, $5 minus 20%. So a $4 controller, can't complain about that. End up getting a few other games as well. So let me just bring out the stack. I think I have exhausted this. Let me see. I have one more bag aside from this. But end up getting this here. This is a uh, N64 Rumble Pack. I don't know where mine is. Actually, I don't even think I have one here. I think it's at my parents' house. But either way, official Rumble Pack. Decided, you know, what the hell. Let's go ahead and pick it up. For $10 minus 20%, that's $8. Sure, let's go ahead and grab it. Why the hell not? End up grabbing a few games as well, too. So, you already saw the next one. But... Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS3. I actually really don't like this game that much. But it was $3. So $3, take 20% off. Solid enough deal. <laughs> Even at $3, I thought that was fine. $2 for this copy of Gears of War is in mint condition. Now, I have the limited edition, and I probably have this one somewhere as well, too. But this one's just in, like, perfect shape. And I figured $2, what the hell? <laughs> Let's pick it up. Battlefield 3, limited edition. Doesn't really matter at this point because I'm sure the DLC has been redeemed, but $3 for this seemed to be in solid shape. Why the hell not? Hitman Absolution, $3 for this as well too. The clearance section had some nice stuff at this shop we went to. So here's one thing. If you're seeing these stickers, just like regular stickers, that is the regular price. There was no frills about that. If you see a sticker like this, that means it is on clearance. So this was original, I think this was like an $8 game and they brought it down to three. And of course, take 20% off that. That's how much I paid for Hitman Absolution. Solid game as well too. Finally, never played this. I think it got pretty subpar reviews, but I always wanted to play it. Starsky and Hutch on the GameCube, $5. And we got one more bag to sift through here. And I think, is this it? Yes, this is the last thing. And this was a little bit near and dear to me, admittedly. <laughs> this is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time reissued strategy guide. So I actually owned this when I was younger. Um, I remember I was trying to play through Ocarina of Time, could not figure it out. And at the time, I did not have internet. So I was playing the GameCube version, which is why it says now also GameCube. So this one was released in 2003, I want to say. Uh, but either way, uh, what ended up happening was I was stuck. So I ended up ordering a strategy guide and uh, like we ordered it from a shop and it came in and man this strategy guy was so disappointing i was trying to read it and it looked pretty it looked pretty but they just didn't word things very well to my child mind and i was like this is this is just silly man i th this guide is useless so i tried to look for another one because i remember i had seen this one but the one i owned was not like it the one i owned actually looked pretty prettier it had nicer artwork um but i decided to convince my mom to order this one as well we got it and i remember this guide actually worked pretty well prima uh, or prima i guess how you say them i don't know how you say them but either way they always had really solid guides and i always liked their stuff but anyways at one point i kind of stopped playing games for a while i remember i sold my gamecube i sold a bunch of stuff and i sold so many strategy guides and with that i sold both of my ocarina of time strategy guides so I always said, you know what, if I find this again for a decent price, I will pick it up. So this is $20, which is a fair price, I would say. I looked it up online. The cheapest I could find on eBay at the time was like $17, $18. So the fact that I could get it physically $16 right there in store, I thought was a solid enough deal. So it wasn't really more the rarity factor. It's more I, I had this, I liked this guide, I sold it, and I did want to get it again at one point. So that was probably one of my favorite pickups here. But yeah. I think we're good on this month's pickups, you guys. So this is, or I guess this is coming out in June. So this stuff I've gotten in April and May. But either way, that has been this episode of Thrifty Gaming Pickups. I hope you all enjoyed. If you all want to see more, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to check out my Thrifty Gaming Pickups playlist, my unboxing playlist as well, too. And if you want some stuff that has better focus, that has better substance, that is probably a bit more refined but has less dog, uh, check out my main channel as well, too. We like to have fun there. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, dislikes fine as well, too. But you're going to make that dog very sleepy.